<coughs> Hello guys, today we are going to see about uh, starting an Angular ap application using Angular CLI. So what is required for that? For starting an Angular application, you require node. Okay. For having an Angular application, you require node. Node, you can very well go to the node site. Maybe if you type node in uh, Google, go to the node. And uh, maybe whatever your system for whatever system you have, you can download the node. Once you download the node, you will also get npm with it. Okay. So first, uh, the most basic step is solved now. So let us move on to the next step. For uh, starting an Angular application, you need uh, Angular CLI. So so <coughs> so uh, using npm install. I am going to uh, install Angular CLI globally. Minus G denotes globally. I am going to install Angular CLI. Okay, let me go to the command prompt. Okay, maybe to my Angular project. And uh, it is not a problem. They, you can do this. Uh, you, do, you can do this command anywhere in your uh, command prompt. It is no, it is not required that you need to be in a particular folder. That is not required. So I, I, I actually, uh, I have it already. So um, it should be fast for me. I think maybe it may be slower for you. Let us wait for it to complete. It has uh, completed installing for me. So uh, inside uh, npm package, I have Angular CLI globally. That is, you can uh, create an Angular application anywhere using Angular CLI. Okay. So let next step will be. So now I have Angular CLI application using the Angular CLI. Now I can create my own Angular application. Okay, let me create a, my own Angular application using this command ng new and the name of the application I want to, I want the Angular application to have. Okay, this is your name you can give. So whatever the name you want the Angular application to have. Well, let me, uh, for this it would be best to create your own application. Go to your folder, create a folder for Angular project, and inside this Angular project, you create the your application. Maybe uh, okay, you have to give ng new and the name of the application you want the Angular Angular uh, project to have. Okay. So I choose the name test app. I want the name of the Angular application to be test app. So just in press enter. I have done that inside after going to my Angular project so that it creates a Angular application inside this folder Angular project. Okay. Let us wait for it to create. It will take a lot of time because it has to create component and uh, it has to install the required packages so let us wait so uh, when you uh, do this when you uh, <coughs> enter this command you will be asked for uh, would you like to add a uh, yeah, angular routing you can press yes and it will uh, ask which style sheet format you would like to use you can mention it as css okay so after that it will start loading doing hmm, adding the application let us wait for it to create the application so uh, right now it has completed the installation of the creation of the application uh, test app let us see uh, our folder how it has created so um, so it has created a 
folder in the name of the application you mentioned in ng new the name of the application in the same name it has created a folder called test tab so if you go inside test tab you will see the application here okay i will try to um, open this folder uh, this test app in my uh, id visual studio is most preferred for angular so you can open that you can open the application it has created so my in my case test app so just say uh, after installing visual studio you just say uh, select the folder and say select folder so it will open the application for us <clears throat> so this is the application it has created okay and then at last you can say ng serve for as i mentioned in my document in you just move into that folder okay in my case it is test app okay it is cd test app and you give ng serve so ng serve what it does is it builds the application and starts a web server okay so it uh, internally builds and starts the web server okay this is what ng serve does so let us give the command so after giving this command it should be building the application and starting the web server so by default it starts the web web uh, server in the port 4200 okay so let us wait for it to start the web server and build the application now it has completed starting the application so uh, after uh, it uh, completed you can know it by the message compile successfully you should see this message and also in the message printed by angular you can see that it has started the web server in this address okay so let us move to the browser and type 4200 you should be seeing a sample application created by angular okay <clears throat> okay and we will try to understand the structure or how it has created uh, in the uh, coming in the next session okay